So guys, this is exactly what we've all been waiting to hear. Tesla has just confirmed the development of Hardware 3 is continuing to progress and that the next generation of V14 is about to roll out. All of this is currently being worked on as we speak and it won't be much longer until we get the latest version of V14 running on our Hardware 3 vehicles. Over the past week, Tesla has officially began rolling out its latest branch of full self-driving version 14.1 marking the first major release since late last year. In the days that followed, Tesla issued several point updates to early access testers to address minor issues and within the same week, expanded the rollout to broader group of owners with hardware 4 vehicles across North America. Version 14.1.3 introduces several new capabilities beyond what is outlined in the official release notes, including expanded parking options and enhanced driving profiles. Drivers can now select exactly where full self-driving supervisors should park at the end of the trip, whether in a parking lot, in a driveway, or on the street curbside. The driving profile system has also been significantly improved, offering greater customizations. In addition to the existing chill mode, Tesla has added a new sloth mode and Mad Max mode, which prioritizes a maximum caution or weaving through traffic to get to the destination as quickly as possible. The user interface has been redesigned to make FSD mode more intuitive and accessible. A new start self-driving button has been repositioned closer to driver for easier reach. Activation has also been streamlined. Instead of holding down the button for several seconds, FSD now engages almost instantly after a single tap transitioning smoothly into drive with minimal delay. Overall, V14 is a major update that delivers noticeably more confident and refined experience with clear improvements in smoothness, reaction time, and overall driving behavior. But then now, more importantly, looking back in time to V12, where Tesla had made tremendous improvements to driving abilities, taking a major step up from V11, instead of relying on thousands of lines of hand-coded logic, Tesla switched to a fully end-to-end -end neural network that learns directly from millions of real driving videos. This had allowed the car to drive more naturally and confidently, handling complex city scenarios and fewer interventions. In short, V11 was rule-based coding where V12 takes a major step forward and behaving more like a human driver through training with imitation learning. All right, so it's quite clear that with every major iteration of full self-driving software, we are seeing a big leap up. This more smoother, it's more confident, it's more natural, and it behaves just more like a human. But despite all the updates we've gotten over the year, V8, V9, V10, and V11, it was nothing compared to the enormous step up that V12 had given us. That was when it went through the neural network, and that was when it felt much more confident much more human-like and was ready for public use and no longer being called a beta. Now, although V12 was truly amazing, gaining so much more human confidence, Tesla continued refining the software and introduced a next major branch update. Version 13 of Tesla's full self-driving system is considered to be the second biggest leap in history, significantly improving performance over V12. It features a complete architecture rewrite making driving smoother and more human-like with better lane changes, merges, and speed control. V13 also adds park-to-park -park capability, letting the car navigate between parking lots with minimal input and improves object tracking and control for faster and more confident reactions. Over the course of nearly a year, owners of older vehicles equipped with Hardware 3 computers remain on the legacy V12 software, with newer vehicles continuing to receive the latest updates and improvements. Many owners grew increasingly frustrated as older vehicles were left behind, no longer receiving updates and effectively deemed obsolete. And then more recently, with the rollout of the next major upgrade, version 14, Hardware 3 owners were once again excluded from all the newest features and enhancements, and as frustration among these owners grew, with some even filing lawsuits over the promised capabilities at the time of purchase, Tesla recognized that they need to address the situation and finally provide clarity to owners that are asking for it. Earlier this year, Elon stated on multiple occasions that Tesla would continue developing the software with the goal of achieving unsupervised full self-driving first before focusing on porting it to older hardware and then if necessary, creating a retrofit solution for those vehicles. Little had changed to the planet since then as Tesla continues to follow this exact development path 
However, during the Q3 earnings call this week, a Q&A session provided new insight into what's truly planned and happening behind the scenes. Tesla says that they have not given up on hardware 3 owners and that they are working on a V14 Lite version that's coming soon. According to Tesla's CFO, the company intends to focus on achieving full autonomy first and then only afterwards will they address solutions for affected hardware 3 customers. He also noted for context that his own daily commuter is a hardware 3 vehicle. This light version is expected to be similar to the previous V13 light which integrates selected improvements into V12.6 build that hardware 3 are currently running as of right now. Essentially, it's a way to bring some of the latest capabilities to older hardware without overloading it. The goal of V14 Lite is to deliver as much of an experience as possible within the limitations of Hardware 3. And while V14 Lite will not match the full smoothness and capabilities of Hardware 4, the addition of new features and the ability to handle more situations will still represent a meaningful improvement for all owners. V14 Lite is expected to arrive in Q2 of 2026, suggesting a release window between March and June roughly five to eight months from today. So there we have it guys. This is probably the best news we've heard in a very long time. 50% of Tesla vehicles on the road today are running hardware three. And that just means that in five to eight months, all of those vehicles are going to be running on the latest V14 build. Now regarding it being the light version of FSD V14, we don't know exactly what that means. What I can assume is it's going to be able to run all the core components of V14, all the most important aspects of it, but the convenience features, the things like summon and banish are not going to be present on these cars due to the physical limitations of the sensor as well as the computer. Tesla has been working really hard on getting full self-driving out. They've been pumping out 14.1, 0.3, and once the larger bills coming out, 0.2 and 0.3, that is likely going to be the bills that FSD Lite is going to be based on once that is smooth and stable. So there we have it. Really, really fantastic news. Can't wait to hear more about it. I do want to leave you guys with a question here. What do you think about the Lite version that's about to roll out in the next couple of months? And at what point will it become acceptable compared to V14? Is the only thing that's needed is it to become unsupervised, even though it might be not as smooth as jerky, it might still not have all the capabilities of the latest build, but as long as it can drive itself, is that enough or are you asking for more? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear that. I will continue to keep a very close eye out for anything that comes out and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on X at Hey Johnny. Over there, you will see things you wouldn't see over here. You can chat with me anytime. I'll respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this is it. This is John once again. Peace out.